Well, good evening from Wally Range in the National, uh, the um, Manchester Basketball Centre. It really is the big game in town. This D2 game between the Manchester Magic and Myers Cole College. Always a big game of the season. Always intense, big rivalry. I'm Ads from Bram 161 and Below the Rim podcast. And I'm joined as always by Hooping Kazzy B of Focus Hoops. Kaz, you looking forward to it? I am, I am. It's going to be a great game. And especially after we were here a couple of weeks ago, the Doncaster, the head to head, uh, where the Magic came away with a three point win at the end. It's just going to be uh, another great game. One of the keys to this Magic offense at the moment is young Ben Brown. He went off last week, 27 points. He had that big shot at the end of the game, sinking him from downtown. We say it week in and week out, this kid's really something special. You think he's going to come up big tonight, his first big meeting against Myers Co in, in, in National League? Oh, definitely. This is such a cross-town rivalry, isn't it? Both teams up for it, both teams want to make a statement. Players get really up for this game. And Ben averaging 14.2 points per game. Like you said, 27 last game, he's going off again. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's going to come up. I, I feel like he's going to be one of those big-time players. So, players to the bench, we've got about a minute 25 until the tip-off. Stay with us, this one's going to be tasty. So we're about ready to do this. Teams in the final huddle. We've got the starting fives in. The Magic are going with Tyrell Brown. Farrell Gordon, who's the captain tonight. Andre Gale, Ben Brown. And Bailey Goodall will start the game. For Myers Co, Sam Cheshire. Ewan Birch. Brian Akanmu. Ridley Scherner and Wesley Iwab Diabo. Teams on the court, we're about ready to do this. The legend, the basketball genius. Mr. Fitz Wallace will be the, uh, the main referee tonight. Fitz, of course, the head coach and the founder of the, the Massside Tropics. Andre Gale for the Magic. It's going to go up for the tip against Ridley. Okay, let's do this. So, magic possession. Gordon brings the ball up straight away. He looks to drive, goes in. No, Myers Cole come up with it. Ball went out of bounds off a of Myers Cole player, so that's going to be magic ball. Ben Brown running the point, dishes off to Tyrell Brown. Goes up to the top of the three-point line. Farrell Gordon showing the moves through the legs. He goes in, steps back. Oh, beautiful move. Finger roll. Hey, that's a big-time move from a big-time player there, Kaz. 
It is, it is. And we're so used to seeing that from Farrow this season as well. Like we said, really good to see him back in this league after some time in the BBL as well. Well, that's the thing is, the great thing about National League is now and again you'll get a big time um, BBL player that, that, that comes back to play some National League ball. Farrow Gordon certainly did it with Cheshire. He has the ball again, gives it out to Andre Gale, who dances inside to the key. Back out to Ben Brown, he looks for something to happen. Tyrell has it. Six on the clock, got to get a shot off. Andre puts up the three. No good. Nice cold ball, but Andre Gale in with the steal, and he stuffs it down. Andre Gale is all about business tonight. Love to see Dre getting above the rim. Yeah, you're going to get that from Dre about once a game. <laughs> it, it just ain't a magic game without a highlight reel from Andre Gale. So... And just speaking of Farrow, like he's, he's having a great season so far, leading the Magic in so many categories. You know, he's uh, leading point scorer, 16.7, leading in steals, 3.7, uh, and, and rebounds, 9.5. He's having such an impact on this team. Yeah, I mean, that's what he's going to do. And we keep saying as well, the beautiful thing about the Manchester Magic set up right now is they've got that experience of youth and experience. I mean, you look out there right now, you've got Farrow, played BBL, Bailey Goodall of course played with the Giants and then you got young Ben Brown, um, Terrell Brown, Manchester Giants, Andre Gale, very experienced National League player so it's a really nice balance that Pete Paraskeev has got going for the Magic right now. And all of that just combines into the, you know, their goal, they want to get back into D1, that's the goal for this season, get back into D1 um, and they, they've got the talent to do it, the top of the table at the moment, 6-1, and one, um, so it's going to be exciting to see where this team goes this season. No doubt, back on the floor, Maisco going hard, two points, score 4-2 to two to the Magic, Terrell Brown just slows things down a little bit, looks for Ben Brown, dishes it straight back. Terrell goes through the legs, dishes to Bailey Goodall with a nice dish to Andre Gale. Can't quite control it. Magic get the ball. Ben Brown inbounds. Farrell Gordon gives it off to Andre Gale. Brown comes back in, steps back, there's that beautiful fadeaway that Ben Brown's become known for. Gets the ball back, fakes. Terrell Brown wants to make something happen, back out. Beautiful passing from the Magic here. Terrell Brown goes back inside, hook shot. No good, nice cold ball. Ridley goes one-on-one -on -one with Terrell Brown. Slows things down, resets the offense. Screen coming in. Ridley still with the ball. No good. Nice go come up with it. Clock resets at 14. Andre Gale. Looks like someone may have got a hand in there on Nice Co. Referee Wallace calls it Nice Co. Nice Co inbound baseline. Tough defence from Bailey Goodall. Score go inside. No good. Get their own rebound. Another new shot clock. Ridley looking for the screen again. Gets it into Brian Canwu. No. Oh, here comes Farrell Gordon. He's going to drive. Left handed lay in. He's fouled and he'll go to the line for two, put, two shots. Just on the other end there. Just liking what I'm seeing from Bailey Goodall on defence. He's getting in the way, he's affecting the shot, and he's you know being very careful not to get a foul. Just three really good possessions there that Bailey was able to stop in and, and stop the shot. Yeah, Bailey for me is like that kind of classic Dennis Rodman. He's an irritant to the other team, but very clever on how he defends. You know, a tough defender, but he's got that experience now where he knows when to not put the hand in too far. Whenever Bailey's on the floor, you know you're going to get a lot of heart and a lot of hustle. It's a fearless player for sure. Farrow since the second. 5-2 Magic. Ryan Akanu brings the ball up. Closely defended by Bailey Goodall. Nice goal to penetrate. Nothing on, so they dish back out. Three. 
No good. Andre Gale with the big rebound. Gives it to Farrell Gordon. He's come steamrolling up the court. Is he going to pull up? No. Looking for the pass. Terrell Brown has it. Farrow shows the moves. Beautiful ball control there from Farrow as he goes in on the left hand. Another big time move from Farrow Gordon. It's Magic 7 2 in front. We're about halfway through the first quarter. And there you go, Kaz. Blink and you'll miss him. Farrow goes down for the easy two. It looks like a Myers Cold timeout. So nice start from the Magic. They're coming in with this tough defence that they're becoming renowned for now. And I think they might have uh, maybe taken Myers Cold a bit by surprise. Yeah, that's something that we've seen, isn't it? At all the games so far this season, they've come out really strong, really strong defensively. Even if they're often, unlike t today, obviously their offense is, is working, but even when their offense isn't, they're still going strong on defense. And that's something, as you say, it's become a signature for this team. Um, and what's that saying? Offense, offense wins games, defense wins championship. Sort of. Offense <laughs> sells the tickets, defense wins the title. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the other things that you find as well is coaches will say it. Um, start with some good defense and the offense will kind of take care of itself it's that weird thing in basketball which you, you hear so often but it's so true and of course the magic so quick in transition as well so many weapons in the arsenal so nine to two magic 531 left in the first quarter Aaron Bailey just giving each other a couple of defensive tips there. Coach Paraskeva sticks with the starting five. Nice call with the inbound. Full court press from the Magic. Double team coming in. Nice call, backing down into it. They put up the three. This time it's good. Sam Cheshire buries it from downtown. Ball back with the magic. Andre Gale has the ball, gives it to Ben Brown. Inside to Bailey Goodall for the quick shot. No good, Andre Gale gets a finger to it. That's going to be a nice cold ball. Ewan Birch brings the ball up for Myers Cole. Closely guarded by Terrell. He drives all the way with the floater. No good. Put back is good though from Ridley. And all of a sudden 9-7 is the score. Magic. Terrell looking to make something happen. Andre Gale puts up the three. No good. Myers Cole on the attack. Some hard defence from Bailey. Good old Andre Gale picks his pocket. That court violation called there. It will be a magic inbound from half court. Tyrell Brown looks for Ben Brown, finds him. Ben Brown in a bit of trouble. Gets the ball back. So calm under pressure, Ben Brown. Goes behind the back, shows the moves here. Loses control, but he's still got it. Oh, and he's called for the double dribble there. And if anyone's not seen Ben Brown's fade away from a couple of weeks ago against Doncaster, make sure to check that out. Yeah, if you hit the... Uh, I mean, it was all over the place, but if you go onto the Brown 161 Instagram account, it's there. It's one of the most watched videos I've ever posted. Beautiful move from Ben Brown a couple of weeks ago. It's a reaching foul on Terrell Brown there. He doesn't look too happy about it. That'll be a Myersco inbounds. Sam Chesh is going to inbound the ball. Substitution coming in. Foul all at wall. Comes in to give Terrell Brown a break. He's on two fouls. So Myersco with the ball. Ridley goes in, he spins, dishes back out, fake. Beautiful pass under the basket there with the reverse. Basket won't count. I 
Once again, it's Maisko that will inbound. Farrell Gordon comes up with it. Slows the play up. Ben Brown gets the ball. Steps back. Resets himself. Caffell with the ball now. Caffell, lightning quick. Penetrates inside, loses control. Blast off Myersko. Magic ball, baseline. Farrell Gordon shows the moves, he goes in hard. No good, thought he was fouled, didn't get the call. Myers Cole bring the ball in. Ridley drives in hard, puts it up, no good. Andre Gale comes up with the rebound. He's gonna go full court, beautiful pass out to Ben Brown. Spins inside, good footwork. Nothing on the end of that pass though. Let's go on the attack again. Ridley puts up the three. No good. So there's Robinson. Slows the play down. Andre Gale watches him carefully. Robinson steps inside. Dishes out for the three. From downtown. Round the shot clock. No good. Magic ball. Andre Gale brings the ball back up court. Dishes to Farrell Gordon. He shoots the three. Money. Well, we talk about Farrell Gunn being a big game player. That's a big game move there, Kaz. It is, it is. And he's, he just does it consistently, doesn't he? He's just such a consistently good um, scorer from wherever. He can score anywhere. Super confident. He'll shoot from outside. He'll drive inside. Matt Cole with the tough move inside. Tip back doesn't go. Second tip back. Third tip back. Fourth tip back. No good. No Togo in the ball game. Togo goes inside, passes back out. Beautiful perimeter passing from the Magic. Caffell, no good. Bailey Goodall hustling. Looks like he manages to win the ball. Substitution for Myersko. Ridley Shammer takes a break. Robinson controls the ball. Look how quick this man is. He goes inside, dishes back out. Cheshire gives it back, right back to him. Robinson showing the moves. Steps across, puts up the three, no good. Nice goal, get the rebound. Bailey Goodall hustling as always. Referee gives the call to Myersko. Imagine they need to be careful here. They've got two guys on a couple of fouls by the looks of it. Cheshire inbounds the ball, closely guarded by Noah Togo. Gets around the screen, Andre Gale just misses out on getting the steal there. Robinson, good penetration. Andre Gale on the breakaway. Caffell, try and stop this man if you can. No good. Robinson again, nice dish out. Cheshire, jacks the three. Again, no good. Andre Gale gives it to Bailey Goodall. Gives it right back to Noah Togo who will run the point. Noah Togo, one of the exciting young products of the uh, the Magic Academy. Great to see him back out there. Goes inside. Good defence from Myersko. Myersko are going to make a change. Ryan Akamu takes a break. Into the ball game is Dan Kelsey. Well, Myersko making a few substitutions here. Pedro Ellery comes into the ball game. As does Will Kemp. Sam Cheshire limping a little bit there as he goes back to the Myersko bench. Hope he's okay. Noah Togo inbounds. Just a bit too far for Farrell Gordon. Hustles. It's going to be a magic ball baseline. 12-7. Passes the ball in high to Farrow Gordon. Farrow again jacks a three. Uh-oh! 
Did somebody say big game Farrell Gordon's in the house? Because I think he certainly is. Robinson guarded by Noah Togo. Togo with some good tight defence there. Robinson gets it back. Oh, nice ball handling from Robinson. Miles Cole got to get something off. No, but they get their own rebound. Well, Maisko's certainly doing well on the offensive rebounds, Kaz. They just need to start capitalising a bit. Yeah, definitely. They're getting in there, and that's something that the Magic need to be careful about because you don't want to be giving up too many offensive rebounds. Um, but like you say, Maisko getting the rebounds, they just need to be able to, to finish the shots. They're getting some good looks, but it's tough defence from the Man Magic. Definitely. Quite a low-scoring game, you'd say, for the first quarter, 15-7. Yeah, yeah, definitely from what we've seen the last few games as well. I think Farrow's probably taken up most of the scoring board for, uh, for the Magic so far. He's got to have 10 as Farrow. We haven't got our live stats up, but he's got to have 10. Must be. Miles could take the last shot of the quarter. Partial block there. Marsco bench looking for the foul right on the buzzer, but I think the buzzer are already gone. So, end of the first quarter, we've got 15 for the Magic, 7 for Myersco. So, next to me, I have a couple of players from the Manchester Magic under-14s Prem. i got Nathan Brown and Sammy. What do you make of the first quarter? It was great defence from Manchester Magic. was well, good defence, yeah? Nate, what do you think? How's it watching Big Brother play as well? <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was good to watch. Yeah, man. 15-7, to 7, what do you reckon? It was. It, it, Myers Cole looked like they were going to pull it back for a few minutes there, but looks like Farrow Gordon's going to go off tonight. Who do you like so far? Uh, Farrow. Farrow's one to watch, yeah. He's my favourite player. Definitely. Well, I'm going to have these guys with me. It's always good to hear what the... Uh, the, the, the younger Magic guys uh, have got to say. You guys uh, think in a few years it's going to be you out there? Hopefully. Hopefully? No, you're supposed to say definitely. Definitely. Yeah, man. How's your team doing this season? Uh, we've, we've only lost one game. Okay. Did you play today? Yeah, we had a game. We played against Leeds. Leeds. What was the score, Nate? Uh, 105-28. Yeah. How many points did you have? I was not playing in that game. Oh, you're not playing today. How about you, Sam? Like 14 12. Nice, nice. So we're getting ready for the second quarter. Reliably informed by Kaz, Farrow indeed has 13 points. What's also nice to see, it, it's, it, you see it all Manchester games, uh, Kaz. Whoever's playing, you always see players from other teams. Nice to see a couple of uh, mystics over there. Dominique Allen, the GB superstar. She's come down to support the Magic. She's with Rachel James, playing for Stockport this year. And then you've got Roy from the Massad Tropics. It's great to see the Manchester basketball community out. It really is. I mean, we've got Jordan Whelan down for the last game, some of the Giants players as well. You mentioned Massad Tropics. Now, a lot of people are excited about this documentary that's going on. You're going to have to tell us about that at halftime. We certainly will rise up the documentary about the... Uh, the legendary Mossad Tropics, the projects I'm involved with with Swish Films. Noah Togo controls the ball from the Magic. The time has come into the game, he has the ball at the top of the three-point line, gives it back to Noah Togo. Noah Togo, bounce pass inside to Mo, no, no good. Time wins the ball, Noah Togo looks to get the shot off, little floater. No good. Myers Cole come up with it. See those Robinson gives the ball. Myers Cole wants to go inside. Tough defense from Cafell there. Yeah. 
Got the big stat from the first half. Andre Gale with seven rebounds. Another guy that can do it all. If you need buckets, Andre will give you buckets. If you need rebounds, he'll give you buckets. Well, not buckets, he'll give you <laughs> rebounds. <laughs> he'll give you buckets off a rebound. Buckets <laughs> off a rebound. But he'll always give you at least one highlight film as well. No, a Togo. So I'm Regent Boskin showing the moves there. No, a Togo. Back to the top of the three-point line. He goes inside, looks to get off the left-handed layup. He'll go to the line for two. Now a Togo averaging 9.5 points a game. 3.5 assists. Great to see Noah Togo playing National League basketball after so many years at the academy. He hits the first. Both drop. 17-7. Magic all of a sudden 10 points ahead. Early days though. Ice looking to get something going. Tough move there. Ricky Shema goes all the way to the bucket. Togo brings the ball up. Farrell Gordon. Behind the back, steps back, looks inside. Beautiful bounce pass. Cafell looking to make a move. Bounce pass again into Mo. Dishes out. Time. Three points. No good. Nice go back on offense. Will Kemp in the ball game. Robinson goes one on one with Noah Togo again. There's a little hustle, a little bit of hustle and bustle off the ball there. Between Dan Kelsey. Mo Shergo. We're going to see what the referees say about it. Referee Fitz is going to call it a foul on Myers Cole by the looks of it. Nope, Myers Cole will inbound. Will Kemp will get the ball back into play. Shema jacks up the shot. No good. Farrell Gordon. Look at him in transition. He goes all the way down the court. Backing down the defence. Resets himself. Dishes off to Noah Togo has the ball. He wants to, he's looking for the cut from Farrell Gordon. Noah Togo puts up the three. No good. Robinson in transition for Myersco. Tough move inside there. Well, Kemp ran into a wall of Magic defenders. I think it's time Regent Boskin that's uh, put his finger up saying, yeah, that was me. Brian Akamu checks back in the game. So, Will Kemp at the line. This is the first. Second one's on that. Magic looks to get going again straight away. Noah Togo with the ball. It's a foul called there. I wasn't quite sure who won. It was on Mo Shergo. I think he may have put their hand in. That puts him on two fouls. So, Pete Paraskeva says, hey, big guy, don't worry about it. I thought it was a bad call. <laughs> so, he'll sit down for a couple of minutes. Bailey Goodall back in. Ridley Shemmer. K 
Camp. Excuse me. Yeah, Camp. Nice cold ball. Well, Kemp's going to inbound. And a Camu and Baby Bailey Goodall getting into it. Tight defense from Bailey. Camu drives inside. Tough player. New shot call. Once again, this offensive rebounding from Myersko. Certainly a scrappy start to the quarter. Again, no foul call. Kemp goes inside. Beautiful layup. No good. He's frustrated. Noah Togo wants to reset the team. He drives inside to the free throw line. Farrell Gordon gives it right back to Noah Togo. Shows the moves. Beautiful. More control there. Fell all the board. Drives inside. Dishes out. Farrell for three. He says thank you very much again on the buzzer. Well... If Farrell Gordon had 13 points in the first quarter, that's another three. There's only four points not scored by him. And he's missed one shot. Big night for Farrell Gordon. Robinson inside to Brian. Brian, does he step out of bounds? So 2010 to the Magic. Magic in a little bit of foul trouble. They've got three players on two fouls. Farrell Gordon will sit for a few minutes. Andre Gale checks back into the game. And Camu can't control the ball. Sam Cheshire has it. Some sneaky defence from Andre though. Be a Myers Cole ball. Ewan Birch looking to come back in the game for Myers Cole. He'll give Will Kemp a breather. Robinson pulls up, fade away. It's an air ball. Time, Regent, Boscombe. He's still, look at this defense from Isco. Well, there's a few confused faces there, Kaz. What did you make of that? I think I, I was one of the confused faces also. It looked like, um, that looked like a, a defensive foul to me. I think it was called an offensive foul. Um, it could, I don't know if it was off the ball. It just looked like some tight, tough defense that uh, was going to result in a foul. But we had a good view of it from here, but it was just a mass of bodies were in the, uh, in the middle of the court there. Timeout's been called. 4.45 left in the half. 20 to 10. Big game tonight from Farrow Gordon so far. Super impressive from Farrow. He scored six, 16 of the team's 20 points. He's missed one shot all game. Um, this, is, this is really exciting. To yeah, he, he's about business tonight. This is what you tend to find from this Magic team. You have one guy every week who just goes off on offense. We've seen Ben Brown do it. Farrell will do it. Andre Gale can do it. Looks like Farrell's saying, okay, it's my turn tonight, fellas. And that's what makes them such a tough team to play against because they have so many weapons, so many different players that can go off every night. Like, you know, you, you guard Andre. Okay, that's fine, but then Farrow's open, yeah, Ben's yeah, yeah. open. You know, you, you've got a... You've got such a strong team that, like you say, on any given night, anyone can just go off and do it. Likewise, on defence as well, you're looking at the at the, at the Magic roster and you're thinking, OK, um, we've got Bailey Goodall and Andre on the floor who are always going to play tough defence as well as Terrell Brown. But then you look over at the bench, you've got Farrow Gordon over there, Mo Shergo, both tough defenders. So, back in the ball game, Myers Co. Sam Cheshire, Andre Gale, that huge wingspan of his, trying to get the ball back, doesn't get it. Ewan Birch gave it to Robinson. Shot coming in, it's no good. Terrell Brown comes up with the rebound. He runs the floor. 
Andre Gale thought about the three and then said, now I'm going to go inside. Hang time. Well, Dre seemed to hang in the air for a couple of minutes there before he decided to put the layup in. Oh, beautiful steal from Noah Togo. He keeps a calm head. Beautiful layup. Noah Togo, again, he'll pick your pocket, giving half the chance. So, full court press from the Magic. Double team coming in, Andre and Noah Togo giving Robinson all the problems. Brian goes in, left-handed, no good. Another offensive rebound for Maisko. Third attempt. That still doesn't go. Once again, Maisko with the tough offensive rebounds. The coach will be uh, not too happy that they're not getting these putbacks, though. Yeah, yeah, you, they're doing the hard work. They're getting the rebounds. They just need to finish the shots. Like that, that, that layup as well, it's just unlucky that it's spinning out like that. But to me, again, we were talking about this the other week, the ball, I'm still surprised with this orange ball. It looks so orange and so bouncy. Yeah. Well, it's like we said, this ball's getting mixed reviews. It's uh, Some people love it, some hate it. Um, it sounds like such a crazy thing, but if you've been used to playing with a certain type of ball for a number of years, um, the, these ones seem to be quite bouncy. You know, some players even like the ball to feel a little bit flatter, you know, if they like to really hit the floor with the ball. Terrell Brown calls the play. Noah Togo dishes it straight back to him. Beautiful link up there. Terrell through the legs. Pushes out right. Puts up the floater. Beautiful shot from Terrell Brown. He wants in on the action too. Stretch to 26-11 from the Magic. Maisko have had all the chances in the world to bring this in in terms of the scoreline, but these offensive putbacks just not quite going down for him. And the Magic defence won't budge an inch either. There's no Togo. Loses the ball there. Maisko come up with it. All right, Akamu with the ball. Backs down Andre Gale. Andre Gale nearly picks his pocket again. Foul call by Fitz Wallace. Checking into the ball game for the Magic. Martin Malek. Great to see him on the floor. Another promising young player from the academy. And a cam move at the line for Myersko. It's the first. Takes his time. This is the second. Who's there with the rebound? Of course, it's Andre Gale. Tyrell Brown brings the ball up court. He's looking for options. Bailey Goodall thought about the screen. Kicks out. Malik, no good. Myers Cole. And the ball back down court in the hands of Ewan Birch. Bailey Goodall nearly gets the steal there. So Tyrell looks to penetrate, he goes inside. Beautiful dish off to time with the easy bucket. Beautiful assist there from Tyrell Brown. Nice go in transition. Oh, Brian goes down the middle, he looks to stuff it down and give the facials to the Magic, no good. Good movement from the Magic here. Malik kicks it out to Andre Gale. Andre goes inside, hang time. No good. Nice call, come up with it. We've got a minute 50 left in the half. 28-12, magic. Not a scoreline I thought I'd be saying at this point in the game, Kaz. No, I'm, I'm surprised, actually. I thought this was going to be a, a little bit closer than it was, but, you know, second half still to come. Maisco going to have a, have a chat half-time, see what they can work on, and I imagine we're not going to see the uh, number of sort of missed offensive. No, I think that's going to be the main focus in the half-time talk. Obviously, Maisco very, very well coached. Uh, 
and that's the thing they're getting the they're getting the shots they're getting the looks Bailey Goodall takes it all away yeah, Bailey says I'll show you my version of a highlight <laughs> but yeah uh, Mazko of course coached by Neil Hopkins his assistant the legend Mike Bernard as Bailey Goodall comes up with it he's nailed under the basket looks at the referee says where's my foul Malik three points no good Bailey Goodall's right there for it still hustling Bailey Goodall I think he managed to catch that with his face <laughs> Andre puts up the three no good it's good stuff from the magic fresh shot clock Terrell Brown slows things down Andre Gale Malik thought about another three he goes baseline reverse beautiful move Martin Malik with the highlight film there Ridley Shammer shows the moves. Again, won't drop. Like, like that, that's just such an unlucky shot for it not to drop. You see the length of him? Yeah, it's sure. There. It's, just, it's just bouncing out. It's just yeah. Unlucky. A little bit of frustration starting to set in for Myersko. It feels like they've not scored for a while now. 15 seconds left in the half, though. Bounce from Pedro Ellery, the captain. Mallet with the reach in, he nearly gets the ball. No, another missed shot there. And look who's defending that shot again, it's Bailey Goodall. He's putting enough pressure on it to alter the shot so um, he can't get it off in, in the way he wants to. Yeah, it's exactly his game. Timeout called, 6.2 seconds left in the half. Maisko are going to have to come out firing in the second half here. 34 to 12, Magic. It's a great start for the Magic. Harold Gordon all about business. But this this Maisko team is a little bit of a different team than perhaps I think. I, I think I've last seen them, it was going to be a couple of years ago, the Harris tournament year. Sure, yeah, I mean... The, turn out the roster change. Yeah, I mean, it, it happens with these with um, these academy-led teams, doesn't it? You, you know, you have, like, the change in the guard, as it were, where, you know, guys go to America, of course, Maisco, um, producing a lot of talented players that have gone on to play uh, D1 NCAA. Um, then, of course, there's Franklin Agu, the young guy who uh, got, got minutes with the Manchester Giants last year. And of course, Big Amari over in NCAA D1. Former Myers Co star. Team's back on the floor, 6.2 seconds left of the half. It's going to be a magic ball. Andre Gale. It's going to inbound. Gives it to Tyrell Brown. He's got five on the clock. He's going to drive all the way. No, dishes out. Mallet for three. No good. Bailey Goodall tidies up, though. Possibly just after the buzzer, though. No, basket no good. So, a great first half for the Magic there. Pete Paraskeev are going to be happy going into the locker room at half time. Frustration though for Myersco. So, we have a score of 34 to 12 to the Manchester Magic. And we hope you'll join us in about 10 minutes' time for the second half. I can guarantee it's going to be a little more fiery than the first half. We're going to come right back at you with some stats in just a couple of minutes time, so stick with us and we'll be right back.
So welcome back to the Manchester Basketball Centre in Wally Range. Story of the first half is Farrell Gordon. He's gone off big time for the Magic. He has 16 points. Andre Gale doing it on the rebounds though. Nine rebounds for Dre. Farrow six or seven shooting. With a score of 34 to 12. It's, it's, it's just a weird score line to say in a Myers Cole Magic game. 34 to 12 to either team. But uh, it's been all about the Magic so far. I'm sure there's been some harsh words by the, uh, the Myers Cole coaching staff at half time. So we're going to be bringing you full coverage of this second half. I'm with my man, Nathan Brown. Nate, what did you make of the first half? 34-12 to the Magic. That's a good start, right? It's not what I was expecting, but I'm joining it. Yeah, man, I was expecting it to be a really tight game against Myers Cole, were you? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was. Yeah. So how are things for you at the moment, man? Are you, are you still working hard on your game? I've watched you since you were a young man. Great shooter, a bit like your brother and your dad. You still working on it hard? Yeah, I'm still training, still training every day. Good on you, man. It's young Nathan Brown, younger brother to Ben Brown. You're the son of the legend Will Brown. Family that have got basketball running through their veins. I can see Annette Brown filming his son Ben as well. Speaking of which, he puts up the three. Unfortunately, no good this time. Myers Cole ball. Myers Cole going to have to get something going pretty pretty quickly if they want to get back in this ball game. Ball goes out of bounds, but Myers Cole come up with it. Go with the inbounds. Crown of Camu. Ridley Shema has the ball. Pass off. Deep three pointer there, but no good. Terrell Brown comes up with it. Tight defense from Maisco. Andre Gale comes in. He steps inside. Doesn't quite make the pass there. Maisco ball. Maisco passing the ball well as they come out in the second, second half. Ridley doesn't make the shot. Defensive rebound for Myers Cole, another three. This time it's good. Ewan Birch got some points on the game for Myers Cole. It's Roel Brown. Andre Gale gives it right back to him, through the legs. Looks to go inside. Dre's open at the top. Jacks up a three. Bounces out. Myers Cole ball. Beautiful pass. No, not quite. Myers Cole certainly look up for it this second half. Slightly sloppy passing so far, but it's early days. Brown brings the ball up. He's looking for Farrow Gordon. Ball inside to Bailey Goodall. Right back that's for Tafaro. Steps back. Gets the ball in the high post to Bailey Goodall. Terrell Brown puts up a three. Bounces out. Rebound from Ridley Shemmer there. He controls the pace. Brings the ball up. One-on-one -on -one with Bailey Goodall. Bailey Goodall not giving him an inch there. Ridley goes in. Nice easy bucket there from Isco. 34-19. Closing the deficit. Terrell Brown has it. Looks for Farrow Gordon at the top of the three-point line. He drives inside. Farrow hangs onto the left hand. Looks for his own rebound. No good. Long outlet pass. Oh, but no good. Andre Gale. He's looking for the foul. He's going to go to the line for two. Masco just huddle up. Brian Kamu, veteran of the team. Some of these guys to just calm down a little bit, perhaps. 
Andre hits the first one. Sorry, misses the first one. Did Andre hit that one? I wasn't even looking. Andre sinks the second. Shema with the ball, closely guarded by Farrell Gordon, Terrell Brown. Tight defense. And ben Brown as well, some real tough defense from the Magic here. Nice coach trying to get something to happen, but Magic just not giving them an inch. Nice passing though, gets them out of the trouble. Brian goes in, no good, he gets his own rebound. And once again, it's unbelievable from my coach. Ben Brown drives the lane. He goes inside. Beautiful layup from Ben Brown. So smooth. He's such a smooth player, Kaz. He's kind of got that Steph Curry smoothness going on. He has, he has, and you love to see it. Yeah, sure do. Nice goal, go baseline. Nice bounce pass into Brian, who gets it on the left hand again. No good. Who's there? It's Bailey Goodall with the rebound. Dishes to Terrell Brown. Pass down to Ben Brown. Beautiful bounce pass inside for Ben Brown. Farrell Gordon says, yes, young man, I'll take that. Timeout, Maisko, 40-19. Maisko are really going to have to do something soon, Kaz, being, being a deficit like this. I mean, they may even look at the scoreboard and look at who's in foul trouble for the Magic. There's four guys on two fouls. Where, where do you go from here? Yeah, so I think they've come out strong, haven't they? They've come out and they've done what they needed to do. It's just they're just not it's able to finish. It's not executing. Yeah. And it's a, it's a tough position to be in when you look up the scoreboard. 21 points down. We're still halfway through the third quarter. You just need to look at it afresh. Just take each it play by play, you know, and chip into that lead. Definitely, yeah. I mean, obviously, this is uh, this is no team of chances. This is Myers Co. Anything could happen. You know, they've, they've come up against the Magic team, top of the table, who have come out absolutely hot on offence and defence. They're not letting up on defence. We've, we've said this throughout the season. They're playing well, they're scoring, and even when they're scoring and they've got, you know, a, a relatively comfortable lead, they're not letting up on defence. And that's such a, a hard team to come up against because the intensity is there constantly. You know, they don't let up. Yeah. Obviously, Manchester Magic are rich in tradition in their 20 odd years of existence. and. You always like to feel as part of the Manchester Magic that you're that club that other teams fear. Um, and they're very much becoming that again. As they strive to get back into D1 where they rightfully belong. Pete Paraskeva has done wonderful things for the programme. And Bailey Goodall not giving Brian much room. He goes inside. Brian again this time. Third time lucky. Brian Akamu gets the left-handed layup. Bailey Goodall has the ball for the Magic. He goes inside. Gets pinned to the backboard, though. Nice cold ball. Full court press from Terrell. He gets the offensive foul. Well, Kent looks a little despondent there. Ben Brown inbounds to Terrell Brown. Gets the ball right back, goes right. Farrell Gordon showing his handles, goes baseline, turns, back to the basket, fade away. Basket drops, Farrell Gordon. I mean, this guy is so great to have him back at the Manchester Magic, but, you know, he's got to be thinking, come on, BBL, are you watching me? Ryan Akamu goes behind the back. Nice fake on there. Andre Gale comes up with it. Fast in transition. Ben Brown, what's he going to do? He drives all the way. He's looking for the foul. He gets the rebound. Ben Brown again. Andre Gale, is he going to put the three up? No. Farrell Gordon says, I'll take it. It's again. Farrell Gordon is on fire. Puts him on 21 for the night. Seconds on the clock, Maisko need to get something off. Nice floater there. Pedro Ellery with the bucket. 
Because it's a 45-23. Farrell Gordon drives. No. He had to miss one at some point. Yeah, he just had to. Nice call up and make something happen. Ridley with the ball. He looks a little surprised that it came his way. It's a nice ball movement. Brian backs down Farrell Gordon. Who's there? Andre Gale nearly picks his pocket. Again. They've got to get something off. So Terrell Brown's picked up another foul there. Was it Terrell Brown? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah it puts him on three for the game. Bailey Goodall takes a seat. Mo share goal back in the game. 3.57 left in the third. Brian Akamu goes baseline. to Myers Co. Oh, Brian a camo call for the travel there. Well, it's not your night, it's not your night. Myers Co. Running out of ideas here. Terrell Brown brings the ball up court. Magic control, control. Screen coming in from Mo. We start to Ben Brown, he goes inside, steps back for the three. Not this time. Brian a camo spins. Terrell Brown's there, right in his face. Being careful not to commit another foul. Ben Brown comes up with it. Nice pass to Andre Gale. He'll go to the line. Ulez Robinson comes back into the ball game for Myers Co. There's Ridley Shemmer. Pedro Ellery, the captain, sits down for a breather. It's going to be an end line for the Magic. Ben Brown inbounds the ball. Gives it to Andre Gale. Short jump shot. It's good. So, Robinson. Running the point for Myers Co. Ridley. Three pointer. 47 26. Myers Co. Ben Brown with the ball. Goes left and right. Looks to get inside. He spins. Beautiful ball control from young Ben Brown. He's back out to Andre Gale. Farrell Gordon has it. All oh, through the legs from Farrell Gordon. Step back. Jump shot. No good. It's going to be a Myers Co. ball. Came off Andre Gale. Robinson showing the moves. He goes in for the left-hand layup. No good. Andre quickly sees Farrell Gordon. It's no good. Robinson again. Trying to come with the easy bucket. It's a 47 to 28 magic. Terrell Brown gives it to Farrell Gordon. He goes through the leg, shows the moves again. Hang time. In and out. Farrell Gordon again. Robinson brings the ball up for Myers Co. I'm Regent Boscombe. The fellow at Wall looking to come back into the game. As Farrow Gordon brings the ball up. Andre Gale has it. Farrow again back to Andre. Goes inside. He goes outside. Dishes off to Ben Brown for three. No good. Myers Cole ball. Quick in transition. 
Ridley Shemmer, I could see that he was thinking about going up for the showtime dunk. Magic defense says, no, not in our house. And the substitution happens. Andre Gale's going to sit down. Time. Regent Boskin comes back in the game. Terrell Brown will take a breather as Cafell comes back in. Ridley Shemmer will go to the line for two. Hits the first. The second's good. So, Cafell controlling the ball. Closely guarded by Robinson, gives it the time. Cafell gets the ball right back. Oh, Cafell with the beautiful penetration move there for the left-handed layup. Cafell's such a quick player, Kaz. He's also so strong. He's got that huge upper body. As he drives through the middle for the easy bucket. Ridley Shemmer gets the ball back. they got five on the shot clock. Need to make something happen. Three. Good defence from Mo Shergo. Farrell Gordon brings the ball up. Slows things down. Ben Brown. Showing the skills. Nice bounce pass into time. Doesn't quite make it. Time comes up with it. Cafell drives inside. He's looking for Farrow. Farrow, hang time. Farrow. This is a man on a mission. Substitution for Myers Cole coming in. Not yet. Farrow Gordon on 25 points for the night. Well, that'll just about do it for the third quarter. 53-32, Magic lead. So the Magic have continued in the same way that they, they finished the first half, Cas Farrell Gordon on 25 points. Andre Gale got to be in double figures on rebounds tonight. Is there a way back in for Myers Co? I mean, you know, they can just keep chipping away, chipping away. It's, it's looking a little bit... You know, maybe it might be out of reach, but you know, just come out firing in the fourth quarter, and uh, you know, just just like we say, take it a possession at a time. But you've got to stop the magic from scoring, and at the moment, everything's working for Manchester. Well, Farrow's obviously caught fire. I'm going to bring you a few stats now. Guys, you want to talk us through it? Yeah. So we've got Farrow on 27, not 25. Um, 25 points, shooting 73% from the field. He's made four of four from three. <laughs> um, we've got Andre Gale with eight points and 11 rebounds. Um, he's the second leading scorer for the Magic. And for Myersco, we have got leading the way is Ridley Shamer with 12 points and 10 rebounds. And Brian Akanmu has seven and nine. And a stat that here, I don't know if this is going to surprise you, Adam, but Maesco winning the, the battle of the rebounds, 44 to 34. Now we've seen them getting a lot of offensive rebounds. Well, I was going to say, mo defense. most of them on offense yeah. by the sounds of it. I mean, so, many, uh, so many guys are having three attempts on the offensive rebounds on, on their own shot. So kind of surprising, but yeah, we've, we've seen it all game. Yeah, out rebounding the the magic twenty one to eleven on offensive rebounds. That's 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 huge. It's huge, but when you look at the ratio of the points that are going back in, that's something that the coaches aren't going to be too happy with. Yeah, Manchester with twelve second chance points, Maisko with only six. Yeah, there it is. Neil Hopkins and Mike Bernard looking on. Just wondering if they can do it in the fourth quarter. So it's fifty three thirty two magic. Oh, 
We're right back with you. As Robinson brings the ball up. Kemp has it, goes to the centre. And Robinson again slows the play down. He's looking for a screen, doesn't get it. Spins inside, nice move, Kemp jacks up the three. No. Sam Cheshire checks back into the ball game. Ridley goes inside, he spins, puts to put in the layup, no good. Mo Shergo with the rebound to Caffell. Passes down to Ben Brown. Farrell good and wide open as he puts up the three. No good. Maisko come up with it. Brian Akamwu. He's going to drive. Oh, the ball comes off his foot. He looks frustrated there. Cafal brings the ball up for the magic. So I'm Regent Boskin back in the ball game. Farrow again. Got to Caffell, he goes inside, gives it to Farrow, goes baseline, Farrow Gordon throws it down with authority. Kaz, we knew that that was coming. That's that's on the, the highlight reel, that is the highlight reel. Highlight reel, right there, Farrow Gordon. Well, Kemp showing the moves. Uh, he looks for Brian Akamu, doesn't he gets the ball though. Goes baseline. You just cannot shut this magic defense down. I'll put Farrow Gordon on 29 points. Ben Brown controls the ball. Farrell, beautiful pass into Ben Brown. He was nailed by a Maisko player. He's going to go to the line to shoot to. Now Togo looks to check back in the game. Farrow Gordon going to take a breather. Maybe going to go take a cold shower because this man's on fire. Keep him in, I want the 30 piece. <laughs> So, Ben Brown at the line. Gets the friendly drop on the first one. Will Kemp comes up with it for Maisko. Ridley Shammer with the ball now. Shammer, nice fake, puts up the three, it's good. Magic still in control though, Caffell, he goes right. So quick this man, oh he was looking for Ben Brown. He smiles and says, I'm sorry young fella. He was quick as Caffell though, he got to be right on the money. First appearance. For Malachi Bache Yadim. Good to see him in the ball game. It's Robinson steps inside. Mo Shergo comes up with it, gives it right to Malachi. Nice pass to back to Mo. Oh, nice move. Mo Shergo was going at a million miles an hour, loses control. Not sure if a Maisco player actually got a touch to that. Yeah. No Togo. Side to time, Regent Boskin, Mo Shergo has the ball. Gives it to Noah Togo. That's a foul from Myersko. So inbounds from Noah Togo. He looks for his old academy buddy Malachi. Mo Shergo. 
Nolatogo showing the moves. Goes right, goes inside, nice step. In off the glass from Nolatogo. Beautiful Euro step from the young Magic player. Robinson with the ball, Will Kemp has it. Marsco again just can't get the friendly bounce in the basket, but they win the ball back. New shot clock, tight defense from Malachi. No share go, keeping his eye on Ridley who goes in, he gets the friendly roll. Follow up more with the ball, he goes left. Starts, pulls back. He's looking for some help. Gets it from time. He goes baseline. Couldn't quite pull off the pass there. Nice cold ball. Sam Cheshire gives it right back. So Skulo's Robinson. Ridley with the three from way downtown. 58 40. 18 point deficit. It's not unachievable. No, Togo gets the ball back, looks for the screen from Mo, gets it, goes inside, loses control. That'll be a magic ball. Sub in from Sko. Ewan Birch checks into the ball game. Will Camp gets a breather. No, Togo again at the baseline. Gets the ball out to Mo Shergo. Malachi, he's in the ball game. He goes in hard. Nice cold ball. Offensive foul. Looks like it possibly called on Malachi there. Robinson showing some nice moves. Cafell stuck right to him though. Nice move inside. No good. Fitzwallis calls a foul on Noah Togo. Sam Cheshire's going to go to the line for two points. So Sam Cheshire. He makes the first and the second. No, Togo has the ball. Showing the moves, Shergo has it now. Dishes off to Malachi. Malachi spins inside. Nice dish out there. Back to Mo Shergo. No, Togo. Steps back. Three point for No, Togo. No good. Time region. Boskin wins it on the rebound. Cafell has it. To Malachi Poche, he had him. Goes behind the back, steps back for three. Malachi, yes, we've got to have it from Malachi. He loves that shot. Firm favourite here at the Magic. Malachi Poche, he had him. Been here so many years now. Never thought I'd say here the day when I called Malachi a veteran, but that's what he's becoming. Also moved into coaching now and doing a great job. And that's, that's part of the reason why this Magic team is so strong together. They've, they've grown up together, haven't they? They've been playing together for so long, these, some of these players. Well, looking out on the floor now and you're seeing Mo Shergo, Noah Togo and, and Malachi, that's three guys that know each other inside out, on and off the court. Always love to see it when they reach the senior level, these guys are still so much in love with the game. So Robinson at the line for Myersco, 61-42. Is the score. 439 left in the ball game. Cafell brings the ball up for the magic. Malachi's wide open on the wing there. He wanted it. He gets it. He shoots it. No good. No share go. Fakes the three. Goes inside. Nice. Oh, no good. Malachi battling hard. Looks like Malachi is going to go to the line. Oh, 
That's the first. And the second. Nothing but net from Malachi. Puts Magic 20 points up. Robinson. So tightly guarded by fellow Ward. Deep three from Myersko. Goes in. Nothing but net. 63-46 is the score. Time Regent Baskin shows the moves. Gives it out to Noah Togo. Guarded by Cheshire. Noah Togo puts up the three. No good. Time there with the rebound. Loses the ball. Myersko quick in transition. Fell comes up with it, gives it to Malachi. Malachi dishes off to Moshe. Go, can't quite control it. Noah Togo wide open. Thought he was going to shoot the three. <laughs> I think he confused himself there. <laughs> Noah Togo smiling back at the bench, going, Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Even Cafell enjoyed that one. He's laughing too. So, timeout called. 63-46. Uh, so this is the Magic's last home game of the year. We'll be back, though, for a double header. Our favourite type, Adam. 8th of January, playing Nottingham Trent Hoods here at 6.30pm. And also the Manchester Met Mystics will be playing the Newcastle e Eagles at 2 p.m. So it's one of our race across Manchester. It's a race across town day. Well, at least they're giving us a, uh, an evening to recover from this game because we'll be over at Bellevue tomorrow at 3 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Bringing you coverage of the WBBL clash between the Manchester Mystics and Seven Oaks Suns. Led, of course, by the legend Cat Carr. Mystics on a roll though at the moment. They've had a, a, a good couple of games. The veterans seem to be uh, coming out looking to, to to pull a big season out, Kaz. Yeah, I mean they're on a four four game home win streak at the moment. Dal Mallon having the best rebounding season of her career. I think she's currently fifth in rebounds. Um, Georgia jo Georgia Jones playing as Georgia Jones always. Yeah, just just Georgia Jones. Enough said. <laughs> But yeah, certainly great to see the veterans of the Manchester Mystics having big seasons. Of course, Rian Bailey having a great year too. So join us tomorrow. Uh, can you use her full name, please? Rian Clutch Bailey. Rian Clutch Bailey. So please do join us tomorrow with the Manchester Met Mystics and the Seven Oaks Suns. We'll be with you at two o'clock, bringing you full game coverage from Bellevue. So back here in Wally Range, Noah Togo is bringing the ball up for the Magic, who is 63-48 up against Myersko. Bailey Goodall's back in the game. He's been a nuisance all night for Myersko. Good game for Bailey. Farrow Gordon, Bailey back out to Cafell. Fakes. Gives it back out to Malachi. Bailey Goodall drives inside. He spins, goes in for the layup. Just on the shot clock there. What's the call going to be? Bailey Goodall's drawn the foul. He's going to go to the line for two points. Two shots even. Two twenty-five left in this game. Bailey Goodall misses the first one. And the second one. Nice call, bring the ball back up. Nice drive inside from Maisko. And the foul, he draws the foul for the M1. So Cheshire goes to the floor, but nice to make the lay up, and he'll go to the line and shoot one. 63 48. Might go chipping away there, but not sure if two minutes, ten seconds is going to be enough. Oh, 
Makes the three point play. Foul all at Ward, brings the ball up court. Farrell Gordon back in the ball game. He's going to want to break that 30. Ball off the foot of Malachi. Ball back to Myers Cole. We've got a minute 54 left in this ball game. Cheshire brings it up for Myers Cole. He looks to go inside again. Bailey Goodall, again, a nuisance on defence. He's called for the foul, though. He looks a bit shocked. Nice call with the inbound. Ridley tries to get something going. Oh, nice, strong move there. And Pedro Ellery, with the two buckets, brings the game to within 10 points. Magic are going to have to keep their heads together now. The lead slightly diminishes. Malachi with the ball gives it to Cafell. Noah Togo goes inside. He has the ball stripped. Turnover. Myers Co in transition. Ellery. He goes down hard. Cafell comes out of the huddle with it. Bounce pass into Noah Togo. He slows the ball down. He'll want to take some seconds off the clock. Farrow Gordon does exactly the same thing. He's got. 12 on the shot clock. It'll be a magic ball. With 10 seconds on the shot clock. And the Togo inbounds. Gives it up high to Farrow Gordon. Oh, the ball doesn't go in for him. Nice go again, quick in transition. Ridley gives it out. Cheshire. No good. Well, if that three had gone down, that would have been made things interesting, Kaz. We've got 45 seconds left on the clock, 63-53. Magic have got a little bit of foul trouble, potentially. Yeah, Maisco have done a really good job towards the, the, this really fourth have. quarter to get yeah. back into it. To bring it back to within 10, they've done well in this, in this final period. And that's what you like to see, you know, they've not given up. You know, they were no, down they, quite a bit, they're yeah. chipping away. At per perseverance is everything. So Riddle Shema with the ball, he goes in hard. Gets the bucket, wins the single digits, eight point lead. Wonder if Pete Paraskeev is going to call a timeout. Maisko pushing hard, trying to get the turnover. Noah Togo, he's in control though, he goes inside, dishes it out. Malachi, a wide open Cafell who goes inside, pulls up for the jump shot. It's no good, Bailey Goodall, not quite. Maisko have it, 17 left on the clock. It's now or never for Myersko. Robinson goes inside. He's got to keep control. Big three points. No good. And the Magical run the ball down well for a second there, Kaz. I thought we might just have been in for a bit of a, an ending to this ball game, but it finishes 63-55 to the Magic. Magic will be happy with the game on the whole. Came within uh, single digits at the end of the game, but overall a really good game for, for the Magic. I think they'll be satisfied with that. Farrell Gordon obviously came in with the big game. What did he finish on? 29 points. Yeah. So a huge game from Farrell Gordon. And, and credit to Myersko. Like we said, it's a, it's a tough team to come in and play against this Magic team. Uh, some newer players for Myersko. And they, they've come back into it. You know, They had a, a strong fourth quarter. Maybe didn't get off to the best start that they wanted. Um, but these are the kind of games that you learn from. You know, There'll be lots you can take from it, things to work on. And sometimes it's just an... It's not your night on the on the shot, is it? it they're just bouncing out. <laughs> I thought it was a brave performance from uh, Ridley Shemmer for Myers Co, the number 13. He never gave up. But neither of these teams like to lose to one another. Some stern faces going down the line as they kind of begrudgingly <laughs> congratulate one another, but a convincing win for the Magic. Well, I think there can only be one MVP for this game, and that's got to be Farrow Gordon. He came out huge from the start of the game. Some beautiful shooting there in the highlight dunk. Andre Gale, though, had a great game on defence. I'm thinking he's probably finished on, what, 12 rebounds? I'm, I'm going 15. Yeah, I'm going I'm 15, 15 too. We'll have to, we must bear with us. The uh, the live stats aren't quite coming through to us on the uh, on the laptops. So we'll take a look at the final balance on the on the score sheet. 
But we want to thank you for joining us here at the Manchester Basketball Centre. Like Kaz said, we'll be back with you on 8th of January. If you want some more of the great Manchester basketball, though, join us tomorrow, 2pm, at Bellevue. And the Manchester Mystics will take on Seven Oaks Suns. We'll be back with some post-game interviews. And you can find all the highlights on the Brom 161, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course on Focus Hoops with, with Kaz. So we wish you all a good evening and we'll catch you tomorrow.
foot on foot what? Soon up. So Farrow, that was a big win there for the Magic. There, it got a bit close at the end, though, right? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, it was, you know, we played really well for three and a half, um, three and a bit quarters. I think our focus is just needs to be maintained throughout our full possession. In the first two quarters, we did that really well. Um, maybe got a little bit complacent, a little bit, um, could say lazy even, but I think we sort that out soon. We should be good for the rest of the year. Yeah, I mean, that was a big night for you. We were saying at the start of the game, we were expecting somebody to go off, and uh, my prediction was it was going to be you or Ben Brown. It was you. You went for 29 points, and you had that highlight dunk. Beautiful shooting in the first half, too. We were just feeling it from the get-go, because you pretty much had every point in the first quarter there. Did you just come out and feeling it and just get into the flow and that was you? Um, I mean, I felt like, I felt, I feel like any game really, coming out the gate, I need to be aggressive. Uh, I've had a few games too many this year where I've kind of let the first three, four, five minutes kind of just go by. Um, and I know I can be effective from the jump. So, you know, I, I try and get myself in that mindset from the very beginning, even before the game starts. Um, but then as soon as the first one goes in, you're like, yeah, okay, this might be a good day. So. We talked a couple of weeks ago um, after the game and you were saying that the big focus is to get back into D1 and it looks like that you could do that with some style. Is that still very much the thing? This defence that you guys are coming out with is, just seems unstoppable. Is D1 still the big focus to get back where this club really belongs? 100%. I mean, I wouldn't say it's promotion or bust. You know, it's more about getting, especially the younger guys, better every day and then as the team... You know, as we do that, the team gets better every day. I think that's always going to be the focus. But, you know, of course, we want to get promoted and we're not going to play for any other reason than, you know, not to say to make up numbers, whether we're winning games or not. So, yeah. Well, Farrow, you're an absolute bucket tonight. It's great. So I'm really enjoying seeing you playing for the Magic again. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Nice one, bro. Nice one.
haven't spoke we haven't spoken after a game so far, have we? Yeah, man. I'll just start to just each other sort of thing. We good. Malachi, first of all, it's great to see you back. You missed the last game. I wanted to have a chat with you because, obviously, it's, it's such a weird thing now referring to you as a veteran of the yeah, team. But you're a veteran I know. now, man. I know. I know. You and Togo and Mo. I know. I know. How much does it still mean to you guys playing against Maisco, whatever level it's at? A lot. I mean, you know, especially there's a sort of rivalry there. You know, it's always good to, to play them, especially at home. You know, especially when you're... You've got a, a team that plays together as well. It's, it, you trust people, but um, you know it's always, it's always a good rival when they come here. It's, it's always a battle, no matter what the scoreline is. That you just saw, but um, it's always a battle. But yeah, we enjoy it. We enjoy it. Because you guys have been playing against each other for a long time at yeah. different age groups, yeah. so to, to be finally doing it in national leagues is, is great to see. Yeah. Sweet victory tonight. Got close to the end, but yeah. other, other than that, are you guys happy with the game? Yeah, I mean we're happy. I mean you know we we're a good 35 minutes of the game. We were, we were solid. Just think, you know, when you're up, you kind of lose concentration. But um, I think apart from that, you, you know, it was, we were solid for most of the game. Just got to keep that focus for the whole 40 minutes of the game and we'll be fine. So, yeah. And how about you, mate? Because you're getting busy now because you're doing yeah. your coaching and everything else live for you at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm love co I love coaching, you know. Obviously, at Manchester College, I'm here also practice as well with this club. But no, I'm loving it. I'm loving the whole aspect of it. Everything's great, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, you're becoming a magic legend, Malkai. <laughs> it's always great to just just to see you and chat and everything. But yeah, thanks a lot yeah. for uh, coming and having a chat. Yeah. Just wanted to check in, really. Yeah, but so all good. Yeah, everything's good. Absolutely. You know, I like coming on these interviews as well. It's fun. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nice one, bro. All right, see you later.